And this is the example how to connect the limit switches to the cylinders. So in this schematic we have one limit switch that is supposed to detect if the cylinder is extracted. Uh, the limit switches are uh, drawn on the schematic where they should be. Uh, and the limit switches should know the physical position where they should be at physically. So the next thing to do is to assign the physical position. To do that, double click on the cylinder. Then go to the Activating Labels tab. And in this tab you can choose the switching regions. And because we are looking for the extracted position, then we know that uh, one of the regions should end with road length 100 millimeters. And let's give it a, for example, 5 millimeter region for switching. And also, uh, additional to the region, we need to add assign a name for the switch let's say 1v1 okay and now a rule appeared when this rule and this marker here are on the cylinder that means that this uh, limit switch is mounted on the cylinder but actually we want to use it in front of cylinder Let's change this here. Now, okay, we have the physical position now. But does the simulation work? No, this uh, simulation does not work at the moment. Because the ro roller, the limit switch, does not know about the physical position at the moment. So we need to assign the position for the limit switch. To do that, there is a area that turns to green in front of the limit switch. Double click on it and give it the same name. And now, when elements have the same name, the physical position and the switch itself on the schematic have the same name, that means that they are the same thing. This switch here on the schematic is the same thing on here, where it should be physically. And when they are the same thing, it means that now physical position is correspondent to this switch and everything should work. And, uh, and voila, it worked. Actually, it worked.